What's up for April? Jupiter, Mars, the Lyrid meteor shower, and 2016's best view of Mercury. Hello and welcome. I'm Jane Houston Jones from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Jupiter, where NASA's Juno mission will begin orbiting on July 4th, continues to shine almost as brightly this month as last. And eagle-eyed telescope viewers will see a transit, a shadow transit, an occultation, and an eclipse of Jupiter's moons, all on one night, April 6th and 7th. Io transits first, crossing the planet beginning at 9.52 Eastern Daylight Time. Its shadow can be seen less than an hour later. Next, Jupiter occults, or eclipses, Europa, as Europa slips behind the giant planet at 10.48 Eastern Daylight Time. At 3 a.m., Europa reappears from its eclipse, dramatically leaving the shadow of Jupiter. Ganymede transits the planet beginning at 101 Eastern Daylight Time, April 7th. Check out the other planets in April, too. Mercury is always a challenging object to view, but this month you can spot it just after sunset, about 10 degrees above the horizon. Through a telescope, you can see its phase. It will appear like a tiny crescent moon with about one-third of its disk illuminated. Mars is finally visible before midnight this month. It rises in the southeast at about 10 p.m. by the end of April. The best observing of Mars will be when it's highest in the sky. This means a few hours before dawn. Its brightness and apparent size increased dramatically this month. By month's end, Mars appears nearly twice as bright as at the beginning of the month. About mid-month, you'll see Mars near its rival in the sky, the similar-colored red supergiant star Antares. The name Antares means equal to or rival of Mars. Earth moves almost twice as fast as Mars does, so it often passes Mars in their race around the Sun. This causes retrograde motion, an illusion we see from our viewpoint on Earth. Retrograde motion happens as Earth catches up to Mars, causing Mars to appear to slow its eastward motion against the stars. After a few days, when Earth has overtaken Mars, Mars seems to move westward. Eventually, Earth moves far enough around in its orbit that Mars appears to be moving eastward again. April features one meteor shower, the Lyrids. This year, the Lyrids are marred by the full moon. The best time to view will be just before dawn on April 23rd, when the constellation Lyra is overhead and the moon will be near to setting. You can find out about NASA's Journey to Mars missions at www.mars.nasa.gov. And you can learn about all of NASA's missions, including Juno, at www.nasa.gov. That's all for this month. I'm Jane Houston-Jones.